สมเจอยังกุจอองจุนยิบเรปกะบรรโตลำนากานิเตวิธีสมณกามนหนึ่งจุนวิติกาตัวลำนางทะเพียาดำไปเพื่อสมนูเปอนเนึ่งเนจุนเยบันดัเอกใครจะสนนี้องยิบเรสสมจุนเรียบจุนดำหนึ่งดอลพิกีธาองยิบเรสสลัดบงหนึ่งคือสัมนาคาสนับสักไข่กัมระบบเนจุมเนียนายันจันดาเนื้อดำสัปดาห์กรอยคือเนื้อทั้งไงจันตีมาเผยพรำเนื้อทั้งไงองค์เกียรติมาเผยบมุ้ยไข่อุตเพียชนำปีปอนบมบุญโดยมูลเหตุวัดหนึ่งมักคือสักไข่กัมเตะเตงหนึ่งองค์เหตุจุมลูกดับอวุธปัญหาโดยมูลเหตุกฎเมียนกิจการชิจราณตรีทวีให้ลัทธิพิบระบกฎอาจมกดอสไคกัมบานแต่ในขนมอ่ำลงทั้งไงที่พรำหนึ่งทั้งไงมาเผยพรำหนึ่งทั้งไงที่มาเผยประมุยอปนนอยังสมเพกีเชียบอมปีกิจดำเนินการสำนักการได้ยึดกรุงทวีในดาวสัปดาห์กรอยนี่เชียกิจบรรทออออย่างเดียวสมรุกลวิติกานี่ดำไปจูนตัดดอลดำนางสหปรารีญาดำไปเมียนอกกานงกาไปสู้สมนูเปียปอนเตนึงอังเฮดในบานเถื่อกาปิเพียซาเด็กดาวตัดนึงมันดึกไกรเอกิกสันได้ยินได้จุมเนียงสมมันชื่นดำนางสหเรียนยาขอบคุณมิสเตอร์ประธานสหประชาชนสมองคนอุปถัมภ์ดรแอชเชสันลูกบอลเดอร์แอชเชสันลูกบ้านจะเซย์ในขนมจุลไลการบอกก็การปีไทยไซฮาชนะปีบอลปรับปีคุณจะบอกเขาว่าตอนลูกอันปรับตลาดการบ้านเดอร์ในเป็นนั้นลูกบ้านจับดามเฟอร์กาในจมูกการยาสหประชาชนยัง Yes, Mr. Prosecutor. I began work at the office of the co-prosecutor at the extraordinary chambers in the courts of Cambodia on 2 July 2006. And for the preparation. Of your written report, you have selected 148 documents in total. But can you estimate how many documents you had read and considered during your work for the 12 months prior to writing the report? I don't expect to write a letter to the letter. I believe that we consider approximately 50,000 documents, and from those, we selected 2,000-3,000 for a closer examination, and of those, I would correct you, 161. Look, Edison. I selected this particular subset of documents because 
they covered the broadest range of matters that were the subject of the report, and because in my judgment, they were the most illuminating of the truth of the matters that are under examination before this court. In the table of 148 documents that we provided to the court is a number of different types of evidence. From analyst reports, to biographies, to books, and so on. If we take one category, telegrams, for example, would you tell the court why you selected 16 rather than simply one telegram in the broadest sense? Yes, Mr. Prosecutor. I selected Sixteen telegrams, because these telegrams illustrated a broad range of different types of communication between different organizational units of Democratic Cambodia and the Party Center of Democratic Cambodia. For example. Some telegrams illustrate communications between the Secretary of the East Zone and the Party Center, or the Secretary of the West Zone and the Party Center, or the Secretary of the North West Zone and the Party Center. Other telegrams illustrate communications Secretaries of different military divisions of the Revolutionary Army of Cambodia and the Party Center, and so on. Thus, the selection of telegrams is meant to illustrate not only the different communications patterns within the organization of the Democratic Cambodia, but also the implementation of the policies of democratic Cambodia in various areas of functional responsibility. With the benefit of an additional almost two years, since you wrote the report, do you consider that any of the documents that talk about the telegrams, do you consider that any of the 16 telegrams are superfluous to illustrate what you've just described? No, Mr. Prosecutor, I do not. I could ask you the same question in relation to the document type one by one. But you may be relieved to hear that I won't ask you that. Can I ask you in general terms whether your answer would be any different from any of the categories in those 161 documents. Look, Edison. I would say, Mr. Prosecutor, that with the benefit of an additional two years of research since the time the report was drafted, I have found additional examples. Some of which may have been superior to examples I used in the report, but short of replacing existing examples, I would say that 
ដោយខ្ញុំអាចជាសួរលោកបានទេក្នុងនៃទូទៅហៅយូអាស់អាន Couple of documents, multiple documents, or how? Look, Edison. It would be impossible to analyze communication patterns based on a single document. For example, in Democratic Campuchia, there were many different modes of communication. Telegrams, field telephones, fixed line telephones, messages carried by courier, documents, Transmitted by courier, face-to-face -face meetings, group meetings, large-scale meetings, national radio, party publications. In short, there was a large multiplicity of means of communications. And in order to understand the totality of the network of communications requires a wide variety of sources. Mr. President, before we broke, Defence Council criticised this witness as the mouthpiece of the prosecution, or rather labelled this expert as the mouthpiece of the prosecution. In the light of the ruling on Rule 87, the co-prosecutors wish to submit that from the evidence that the court has just heard from Dr. Edison, it is clear that his evidence has been based on a detailed analysis of many documents and a specific analysis of the subset of 161 documents. The written report has been written not exclusively, well, not, so not on personal knowledge, but on an assessment, a considered assessment of those documents. In the submission of the co-prosecutors to assess the accuracy and the reliability of Dr. Etchison's report, particularly in the light of the suggestion by the defence that Dr. Etchison is merely the mouthpiece of the co-prosecutors. The trial chamber must itself assess the reliability of the witnesses' conclusions. And how did the trial chamber do that? But by looking at the reliability and the contents of the documents upon which the witness has based 
Therefore, I now propose uh, to summarize the document that Dr. Etchison has relied upon. Document number one. Case file. Introductory submission. Annex C. Document 2.1. This this is an analytical report from an international source. It is dated the 6th of July 1978, and it comes from the government of the United States of America. The document is entitled Submission from the Government of the United States of America to the United Nations. And it contains the statements of Dutch Kyo Dara, T-H-A-C-H, K-E-O, D-A-R-A, at pages 9 to 11, Monsu, M-O-N-S-I-E-U, at 16 to 18, Suor Cheng, S-O-U-R, C H H E N G at fourteen to fifteen. Sam Damavong S A M D A M W O N G at eight to nine. And Yim Sot Ronachit Y I M S O T R O N N A C H I T at eleven to thirteen. The document describes widespread human rights violations in democratic countries, including one, pages nine to eleven, sixteen to eighteen, fourteen to fourteen, the formal policy of confining people to cooperatives. Pages 16 to 18. Spying is common in cooperatives. Three. Pages 8 to 18. Forced labor. Work was mandatory and people were required to work long hours. Four. Pages 9 to 18. In human living conditions, people received inadequate food, inadequate medical care, and people had to work even when sick. Five. Pages 8 to 11. And 16 to 18. Unlawful killings and torture. People were punished. Or killed for minor infractions. Six. Pages 8 to 11, 13 to 14, and 16 to 18. No functioning legal system. Seven. Pages 7 to 11. Unlawful killings of doctors, lawyers, teachers, students, religious leaders, business people, and other intellectuals. Eight. Pages 8 to 11. And 13 to 15. Unlawful killings of minor Khmer Republic officials. Non-commissioned officers. Ordinary soldiers and their families in the villages and cooperatives. Nine. Pages 11 to 13. And 18. Unlawful killings at the village, cooperative, or commune. Ten. Pages 8 to 9. Discriminatory intent against the
slow down, okay. I'm sorry, I, I, I heard from the translators in Khmer, but I didn't understand there was no translation in English. I'm told that I must slow down. I apologize. I will go back to item 10 from this document that we are summarizing. Pages 8 to 9, discriminatory intent against the Vietnamese. Item 11, pages 8 to 9, 11 to 13, and 14 to 15 discriminatory intent against new people. We turn to document number two on Dr. Edgerson's list. Introductory submission Annex C. Document D. 2.5 66. Disclosure number 2.3. Original evidence reference number in Khmer. Zero 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 eight seven five three seven through zero 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 eight seven five this is the second of two analytical reports from an international source dated the 18th of August 1978 and the author is the government of Norway and the summary of the document is as follows. It is entitled Submission of the Government of Norway to the United Nations Commission on human rights. It contains evidence of widespread human rights violations in democratic Cambodia, including one at page 19, the destruction and expropriation of property by democratic Cambodia, two at page 12, People were forced to leave Phnom Penh with almost no belongings. Three, at pages 12 to 13 and 21, dead bodies were a common sight during the forced evacuation. Four, at pages 4 to 5 and 16, the cities and towns were evacuated. Five, at pages 8 and 15 to 16, a second wave of forced movements. Number six, at page three, formal policy of confining people to cooperatives. Seven, pages three, eight to ten, and annex four, Spying was common in cooperatives. Number eight, at pages nine and eighteen, food was inadequate. Nine, at pages three, nine, nineteen, and Medical care was inadequate, and people. Had to work, even when sick. Ten, at pages 18 to 19, people died of starvation and exhaustion. Eleven, at page two and annex four, people were punished or killed for minor infractions. Twelve. At page 13, no functioning legal system. 13, at page 17, party loyalty and ideology was more important than technical expertise. 14, at page 21, killing 
during forced evacuation of Phnom Penh. 15 at pages 5 to 7 13 and 21 Killings of high-ranking Khmer Republic officials and military personnel during April and May 1975. 16 at page 8. Many people died during forced movement to the countryside. 17 at pages 1 and 8. To nine, killings of doctors, lawyers, teachers, students, religious leaders, business people, and other intellectuals. Eighteen, at pages four to five, thirteen through fifteen, and Annex four, killings of minor. Khmer Republic officials, non-commissioned officers, ordinary soldiers and their families in the villages and cooperatives, 19 at pages 4, to 4 through 5, killing at the village, cooperative and commune level, 20 at pages 6 through 7, killings associated with the purge of the North Zone, 21 at page 19, expropriation of property in villages and cooperatives, 22 Monsieur le Président, est-ce que je peux interrompre mon confrère Excusez-moi. À l'instant, j'entends parler d'expropriation et de rassemblement de personnes dans des coopératives. Je ne vois pas leur relation avec l'ordonnance de renvoi rendue par les juges d'instruction en vertu de laquelle vous êtes compétent. Monsieur Douk, et poursuivi devant votre chambre, après une année d'instruction, par une ordonnance de renvoi pour des faits commis à S21. Je viens d'entendre parler de coopératives, je viens d'entendre parler de personnes chassées des villes de Phnom Penh, évacuées des villes de Phnom Penh. Je viens d'entendre parler d'un système légal qui ne fonctionnait pas. Tout cela est totalement hors sujet. Je souhaiterais, Monsieur le Président, que nous revenions à notre sujet Douk est poursuivi pour les faits qui sont très précisément décrits à l'ordonnance de renvoi. Je souhaiterais que les coprocureurs soient invités à se concentrer sur les faits reprochés à Douk à l'ordonnance de renvoi. Vous ne pouvez pas mettre Douk en cause pour l'ensemble du système criminel du Kampuchea démocratique pour les coopératives, pour l'absence de système légal, pour les personnes évacuées des villes, etc., etc., comme il vient de nous en être donné lecture. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. សូមព្រះញាមានការចាប់អារម្មណ៍ដោយសារការកត់ទង្គររបស់មេត្តាវីកាពីញ្ញាប្រយោជន៍ជាការសម្រួមមួយចំនួនបន្ថយមួយចំ
Thank you, Mr. President. I had hoped that I had established the reason and necessity for document, documents upon which Dr. Etchison had relied to be read out in court. Can I perhaps spell it out even more clearly? These are documents that this expert witness has deemed important upon which to base his testimony, his report. The defence are challenging or are describing this witness as the mouthpiece of the prosecution. It is the chamber's responsibility to evaluate the evidence upon which Dr. Edgerson relies. These summaries are intended to provide the court a basis for assessing Dr. Edgerson's conclusions. And I might add, for it seems the defence has forgotten, that for crimes against humanity, which is in the indictment against the accused, the co-prosecutors have to establish beyond a reasonable doubt that crimes occurred in a widespread and systematic manner across the country. This is not the same as saying that this accused was responsible for all those crimes around the country. It has to be established that the crimes that we say were committed by this accused at S21 were part of that widespread and systematic attack on the civilian population as a whole. That is the basis for including those documents in the summary. I'm sorry, reading out the summary as we have. And this, I feel the time has come to make another observation in response to the constant interruptions and objections from the defence. The co-prosecutors clearly understand that the defence wish to limit the trial chamber's consideration of the evidence to a very small number of documents. Of course, it is in the accused's advantage that incriminating documents are left untouched, that background documents are left untouched. But surely, Mr President, one of the functions of this tribunal, of your trial chamber, is to educate and to demonstrate that an internationalised tribunal based in Cambodia, with Cambodian and international personnel, examines a trial fairly and according to the evidence, but more importantly, that that is done in public and that judgments are based on evidence that the public has heard. There are numerous reports swirling around Cambodia that the courts in this country lack transparency and that there is little public discussion of the evidence. There are swirling reports even in this tribunal relating to corruption. What do we want to achieve in this? process. When experts look back and they see 
làng với họ bị nứt hạ tá trong nhà cả vừa làng tàn của Việt Nam nó cứ nhận chấm đi trong một hai 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 Or do we want experts to look back on these proceedings and to say that the judgment was based on solid evidence, based from based on independent and corroborated sources? Mr. President, the co-prosecutors wish a speedy trial and an expeditious one. And a fair one. But they also consider that the public have a right to hear the evidence that will found the judgment. Not only a right, I submit that this chamber has a duty, as I said, to educate and to demonstrate the process that this court is following. And that the co-prosecutors are inviting you, Mr. President, to apply today. So, I look at what the court is For that reason, I make no apology to read the summaries of documents that this expert relied upon. And with the court's leave, I will continue to read from the summary.
xong lô bật thuyền mấy thứ lượt mà đòn pì chơi mấy thứ mình phải nhảy thứ xong áo quần lô bật thuyền hay xong cột đục ăn chùm đông chùm đấy khi bắt thôi ca xung kê tới để lục về cha các bạn sẽ hấp về nhà bạn lừa lắng nó ai cả xa đi cứ thà khi bắt được tới cùng khơi chia vì xa không ai thế thầy phải chuẩn bị tập vì xa ông lấy thầy bổ sung lại chụp việc kia về thủy ca pi miến để nó hay chạy một hàng thêm một phong thầy bổ sung nơi tại ở miền tận đây chân tiết cứ thà tôi tôi năng chụp ảo vô to có hay chia vì xa việc tôi tôi đang xây cái đây dùng ra cho bò ăn dùng đông dùng rẻ là ban châu mò bò ăn dùng đông dùng rẻ nơi mò nơi thế này đi ban bệnh trẻ tha ai cái xa thành ó trâu tai kia bị sát cứ trâu tai miền phía xa không ai mà đồng bay kia phải bây giờ nó không tận nạc đi nâng tim mùi tim pí đồng bay kia phải bây giờ đòi chôn chọt chọt phẳng có vận tải vận ban lực lang bị làm một đằng ra thảo vui này thì hình chân tới nhưng mà xong và sùng đồn po đã thử dạng mấy ở miền kia về xa không ai làm bay ở bàn và bà bà nó không nông sơn la cái đây này và sông mà còn hiền nào it is my understanding that you are about to rule on an issue which is very important for everybody here and before you do that we would request to be able to say something briefly and I know that other of my colleagues would like to say something and I believe that probably Metro Roo would like to respond so if you are about to rule then we would request the opportunity to speak Thả về nhà ta Ai cả xa xong khai Mình mình nghĩ bài bàn lực là Đời mê tư vi chiệt Cộng bì Cộng bàn lực là Ngọc bì phía xa Đại bà 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 Phía xa đàm nâng Vì chiệt phía xa khám mẹ Đại bà 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 Ta miền ai cả xa xong khai Đại à nằm bàn mình nâng Chiệt phía xa khám mẹ Đại rưu tí Yes, it is indeed, Your Honour. Look, I, like, I can uh, give the but evidence reference mean. number. It is uh, 00 That is document number one like, on the index. Document number two, index, which P. I had almost come to the end of summarizing. In command, ERN 00 and, Mr. President, I should add that all the ERN references are contained in the index to Dr. Etchison's written record at E55.1. If the original language is English, the additional ERN describes the Khmer or the French or both, and if the original language is Khmer, the additional ERN references are either 
in English or French or both. Monsieur le Président, est-ce que les est-ce que les coprocureurs peuvent indiquer si la, la synthèse qui était en train de lire mon, mon confrère, si la synthèse elle-même existe en Khmer et en français Car évidemment, nous n'allons pas les uns et les autres nous reporter à l'intégralité des documents et nous livrer à euh, une plongée dans les pages 9 à 18, 8 à 11, 13, 14, etc. etc. Donc, est-ce que le résumé qui est coté E55.1 est disponible en Khmer pour mon co-avocat et en français pour moi-même je parle bien de résumé. Thank you, Mr. President. The English summaries on the index E55.1 are only in English, but the full document is translated into Khmer in full and in French in full and given the integral uh, translation that we have of everything in this, these proceedings, the summary of what I read out in English would be available, I presume, tomorrow for all parties to examine. Excuse me. And I should confirm that uh, the summary in English that I read out would be available in the transcript of the proceedings. And so, having provided a full translation of the document, together with the transcripts that are available, the co-prosecutors consider and submit that they have fulfilled their translation requirements.
ແລະមិនមិនមិនមិនមិនមិនមិនមិនមិនមិនមិនមិនមិនមិនមិនមិនមិនមិនមិនមិនមិនមិនមិនមិនមិនមិនមិនមិនមិនមិនមិនមិន
L'interrogatoire du témoin expert se limite au seul fait concernant ou qui serait imputable à M. Douch et concernant S21. D'autant plus que lors de l'audience a interrompu le témoignage de l'expert en disant que celui-ci était sorti de son rapport et qu'il avait fait une analyse qui n'avait rien à voir avec son rapport puisqu'il parlait de S21. Et à ce moment-là, la défense nous expliquait que le rapport était un rapport de politique général établi en 2007 et qu'on ne devait pas faire une quelconque allusion à S21 puisque S21 serait vu plus tard. Alors, aujourd'hui, la défense vient nous soutenir une opinion Totalement contraire, en voulant limiter le, le droit des coprocureurs, en voulant le rétrécir à S21, alors que justement les débats d'aujourd'hui portent non pas sur S21 et le fonctionnement de S21, mais sur la politique générale. Et sur la, telle que la mission que vous avez définie et, et pour laquelle vous avez invité M. Edgerson à venir déposer. J'estime que la défense n'a pas à dicter les, 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 les modes de preuve qui sont admissibles Lorsque ces modes de preuve nous conviennent de pas, et de considérer que les coprocureurs ne pourraient pas fonder leur démonstration sur un certain nombre de documents. Au regard de l'article 87, tous les éléments de preuve peuvent et doivent être a priori produits devant votre chambre et c'est votre chambre qui en établira la pertinence, la qualité. Et tous les témoins viennent déposer devant votre chambre à égalité. Et c'est vous qui tirerez de cet ensemble de, de, de témoignages la valeur des éléments développés devant vous. Mais je ne voudrais pas que les témoins experts produits par l'accusation soient considérés comme des témoins de moindre valeur par rapport aux experts que l'on va avoir par la suite produits par la défense, dont on nous laisse entendre que ce sont des gens de grande valeur. C'est la raison pour laquelle j'estime toujours l'impartialité des débats. Et pour que la vérité puisse la liberté de la preuve est essentielle et il est essentiel que la dé... et que je soutiens la démarche du procureur sur ce point. Monsieur le Président, លោកប្រាស់ស្វរូលោកប្រធានមានទេតេខាងមេត្តាវីកាប់ពីជនអឺតំណាងឲ្យដើមនឹងរដ្ឋវិនីជាវាងវល់វល់ទៅចប់ហ
François Monsieur Roux. le Président, merci. Plusieurs, euh, plusieurs observations. D'abord, je rassure ma consoeur quand je disais que nous attendons d'éminents experts. Je ne parle pas seulement des experts de la défense. Je pense que M. Chandler fait précisément partie des éminents experts que nous aurons la chance d'avoir dans ce tribunal. Je pense que nous luttons à nouveau sur un problème de méthode et, disons-le, de culture juridique. J'ai déjà dit à maintes reprises que nous sommes ici à la suite d'une ordonnance de renvoi qui elle-même fait suite à une année d'instruction par deux éminents co-juges d'instruction, instruction à laquelle ont participé de manière régulière et systématique les co-procureurs. Et je les en remercie. C'était un apport considérable à la procédure dite de civil law. Puisque pendant une année, nous avons pu débattre contradictoirement chez les juges d'instruction, procureurs et défense. À la suite de cette instruction, les co-juges d'instruction ont rendu leur ordonnance de clôture à laquelle j'aimerais que l'on se réfère plus souvent parce que c'est cette ordonnance de clôture, Monsieur le Président, Madame, Messieurs, qui vous saisit. Vous êtes saisi par cette ordonnance et par les faits qui sont contenus dans cette ordonnance. Vous êtes lié par cette ordonnance, sauf pour les qualifications que vous pourriez revoir. Mais en ce qui concerne les faits dont nous parlons ici, ce sont uniquement les faits qui ont été débattus chez les juges d'instruction et qui ont fait l'objet de cette ordonnance. Et je vous renvoie à la fin de l'ordonnance où il est indiqué « En conséquence, il résulte de l'instruction » des charges suffisantes contre Kengek Av alias Duk d'avoir à Phnom Penh et sur le territoire cambodgien entre le 17 avril 1975 et le 6 janvier 1979 en qualité de sous-secrétaire ou secrétaire de S21 par ses actes et omissions planifiés, incités à commettre, ordonnés, commis les crimes suivants d'avoir porté aide et assistance à leurs auteurs ou d'en être responsable en qualité de supérieur hiérarchique. Et sont énumérées deux catégories de crimes. Un, les crimes contre l'humanité. Deux, les violations graves des conventions de Genève. Pour en arriver à cette conclusion, je voudrais vous renvoyer au paragraphe 131 et suivant de cette ordonnance qui spécifie de manière précise les crimes reprochés à la cuisine. Or, que l'on entende M. Greg 
Echison. Donner un panorama de ce qu'était le Kampuchea démocratique pendant cette période. Bien entendu. Bien entendu. Et le rapport, j'ai déjà eu l'occasion de le dire, de M. Craig Etchison, et que, je parle du rapport écrit, est un élément extrêmement intéressant pour tout le monde. Et je souhaite d'ailleurs, je le dis à la Chambre, que ce rapport soit publié dès que possible sur le site du tribunal dès lors qu'il aura été débattu contradictoirement à cette audience. Il est bon que l'on connaisse publiquement le contenu de ce rapport. Mais a-t-on besoin C'est ça la question. A-t-on besoin de prendre connaissance même avec une synthèse de tous les documents dont s'est inspiré l'auteur de ce rapport. En common law, certainement. En common law, certainement. En civil law, cela n'est pas nécessaire. Je le dis très clairement. En civil law, cela n'est pas nécessaire. En civil law, pour asseoir l'intime conviction du juge, il n'est pas indispensable de donner les références de, et surtout la lecture, même par synthèse, de tous les documents dont un expert s'est inspiré. Cela n'est pas nécessaire. Donc je dis que procéder aujourd'hui à la lecture exhaustive des résumés de l'ensemble des documents étudié par M. Greg Etchison, c'est du temps perdu pour ce tribunal, c'est, pardonnez-moi, de l'argent perdu pour ce tribunal, et c'est du temps perdu, j'y reviens, pour les victimes. Je suis impatient d'entendre la substance de ce cas à dire M. Greg Etchison, j'aurai des questions à lui poser. Et si, effectivement, à l'occasion de contestations que je fais sur une partie de son rapport, il souhaite me renvoyer à un des documents sur lesquels il s'est appuyé, il pourra le faire. Mais cet exercice qui consiste à relire systématiquement les résumés de tous les documents dont il s'est inspiré, cet exercice, je le redis, est parfaitement inutile en civil. Et je rappelle que le règlement intérieur dit que les juges prendront leurs décisions sur la base de leur intime conviction. Voilà. Je renvoie une fois encore à cette ordonnance de renvoi rendue par les juges d'instruction et je demande que nous n'ayons pas les uns et les autres travaillé pendant un an et demi pour rien du tout. C'est un travail de fond qui a été fait au terme duquel deux magistrats, deux hauts magistrats, ont estimé qu'il y avait des charges suffisantes contre l'accusé. Et pour la plupart de ces charges, il a dit « je suis d'accord ». Alors quel est notre exercice ici que l'on veuille donner à l'opinion publique qui nous écoute un panorama de ce qu'a été ce régime criminel, bien sûr, mais que l'on veuille partir dans des discussions totalement hors sujet, absolument pas.
Thomas Kesson, les autres observations que je voulais faire, je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. Bah, ni ça qui qui jamais d'ailleurs mon coup de feu, non. Bah, ni que qui est ce qu'il s'en attend, ne qui en mon coup de feu, qui ont pas l'eau, ça m'a connu pour tien. Hello, this is Dalpil Trau Samra Hai. Hai, ko mien tap hiep tang tai nhai le ka te chai vi phe tha le tam rong nai ni te vi thi pa pa te ni. Chang ong yom reh. Salat abong pa ka. Pa a, sam la ka tam rap, sam la ka tang ai ni tam ni. Hai, sam la ka le te ban to ne tang ai sa ai. Chap pi mong pram buon prak te. Anh nói rằng một thì không khen nom chuyện chấp chót thực căn một thì không khen vinh hay ở quân được bản đất cái kiện sân hay ông nhầm ra xong chơi lục một đò tại khay cầm nửa ngày sai tiết chập vì mong bầm bồn bực hay chậm điệp chun đò phía kia đối chuyện đấy thì mà chơi một căn xa thầm lá cá. ไปบ้านมนมองบนบนปรึกดำไปบนต่อในเตปิธีสัมนาการ